Katie, can you use the pledge, please? Certainly. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If we could have a moment of silence for the men and women in the armed forces and for our first responders. Also, for the three sailors that were killed while training in the base in Pensacola, Florida, which was Joshua Kayla Watson, he was U.S. Naval Academy, Airman Mohammed Samin Halit, he was of St. Petersburg, Florida, who joined the Navy after graduating from high school last year, Airman Apprentice Cameron Scott Walters, 21, of Richmond Hill, Georgia. Thank you. Here, here. Thank you. Whoops. Mr. Mayor, I don't think anybody signed up. Okay. All right. All right. Good news. <laughs> I'd like to entertain a uh, motion to add to the agenda mm -hmm. the uh, appointment of a sergeant of arms. Make that uh, item. Do I have a second? We got some second. item seven. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Item Aye. seven will make that? Yep. Okay. Next is uh, mayoral comments, real quick. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming. I hope everyone had a wonderful uh, Thanksgiving. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the director of coaching, Alex Mendoza. All the coaches, parents, and players for the successful season for the Impact United Soccer Club. The U-12 boys and girls ended up winning their division, so congratulations. I'd like to thank the New Milford Police Department for their Stuff a, Stuff a Cruiser event last Saturday. Very successful, and I'd like to thank the police department, the men and women, for helping those less fortunate with toys and gifts for this upcoming holiday season. I'd like to thank VFW Commander Jim Delancey. American Leecher Commander Jeff McBriarty for leading our, par our Pearl Harbor Day service that we had. Uh, I'd also like to thank State Representative Bill Buckley, Chief Ceruto, and Kathy Shimley for all their kind words and words about Pearl Harbor and those still missing in action. I'd like to thank Buck Ovoit for singing the national anthem and Pat McGuire for the bagpipes. The honor guard for their salute as they always do wonderfully at the bridge. I'd also like to, chief, like to thank the Chief for putting the reef into the river. Um, we continue to honor our veterans safe, uh, faithfully, and for those men and women that continue to serve, we thank them for their service. I'd also like to thank our DPW and Park and Rec teams for our last snow event we had, which was a multi-day event. I'd like to thank them for all of their hard work as they do that uh, each and every time, and we'd like to thank them for their work and efforts. I'd also like to thank the New Milford Board of Ed, uh, New Milford Chamber of Commerce, Executive Director Denise Del Maestro, and the Chamber Board, the United Methodist Men's Group, and Santa for a wonderful tree lighting that we had. We had lots of people there. It just goes to show our character of our town. Also, congratulations to the Culinary School. They had their 30, 41st graduation. Um, and I'd like to thank the Executive Director Don Hamacott, Chef Blythe, uh, the staff and the boards, and the board of directors for that. Also today we had our had another meeting of our opioid tax task force. I'd like to thank everyone that was involved in that again today and we had some new members that actually joined as well. I will be uh, uh, talking to the town council in January about some of the updates that we have going on concerning uh, our task force. With that I'd like to end that okay. uh, by wishing everyone real quickly a uh, very safe holiday season uh, for those a Merry Christmas and for those celebrating Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah as well. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> item 4, Consent Agenda. Motion to approve items 4A and 4B. Sure. Any discussion on the Consent Agenda? I'm uh, just advising uh, that I'll be uh, recusing myself as I was not here for the meetings. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Item five. These, uh, we have a change here. These are going to be temporary appointments and reappointments for item 5A and 
all the way through, 5A only. Uh, the, <clears throat> the reason they're going to be temporary is because there uh, was an error made in the start time of December the 1st. It should be January 31st, correct? No, actually the start date will be, Randy, can you? February 1st. That's for the oh, permanent. February, it can't be February. Right, right. so. But the temporary will be from now until February 1st. So January 31st. So January 31st. Sorry. I so what happens. we're, to make a long story short, I'm sorry for interrupting, no, Katie. go right ahead. So in talking sorry. to Attorney DiBella, who can opine on this, when we had a charter change, the charter left out this particular set of appointments. So what would happen is we would have a gap in commissions to serve. So we have to do to fix it this time, am I correct? correct? Randy, we have to do a temporary appointment from today's date until 131.19 so that these boards and commissions can continue to function. 20. Right. Or 20. 20, sorry. Right. Right. We're missing, we're missing a month here. So do we also then have to update the charter? So the next time this doesn't happen again. But not right now. Randy? Not right now, but Mr. Mayor. The, what happened, Chris and, and, and town council, is that when he did the when they did the uh, charter review, they they redid the dates of, of effective appointment to February first. Right. What they didn't do is they didn't do a transition line. The transition line is simply says notwithstanding the foregoing, uh, any current appointment will not expire until January thirty first, or such appointee shall serve temporarily from this date to this date. Uh, didn't do that. So in order not to have a gap or what they call an advance. In, the, in each board of commission, the town council has authority under the charter. I mean, it's a remote thing, but it has a town a authority under the charter to have temporary boards and commissions. Pursuant to that authority and the appointment of these individuals to permanent commissions, you can then appoint them temporarily within that plenary authority. So you're really making up a gap is all you're doing. And it's the same appointees. Mm -hmm. So uh, you won't have to correct the charter date because in reality, this is not gonna happen again. Right. It only happens when there's a charter. That's why you always have a transition provision when you do a charter, okay? Thank you. Uh, one note to be made on uh, under item 5A is under the 9-11 committee. There is a, a Cheryl A. Bonus. She is no longer a resident. Uh, that was not taken into account. So just so you know, as a, I guess we'll call it a clerical, she should be removed or not considered, I don't know how you'd want to state that. But anyway, so we have uh, the 9-11 Committee, Aging Com Commission on Aging, Alarm Appeals Board, Arts Commission, Candwood Lake Authority, Conservation Commission, Ethics Commission, Historic Properties Commission, Housatonic Regional Resources Recovery Authority, Housatonic River Commission, Housing Code Enforcement, Housing Partnership, Lanesville Fire Substation, Library Board of Trustees, Municipal Citation Hearing Officer, Northville One Room Schoolhouse Committee, Northwest Connecticut Public Safety Communication Center, Sewer Commission, Traffic Authority, Youth Agency, Film Commission, Parks and Recreation, and Pension Committee. Second. Any discussion on the motion? I still get 100% every year of survey, right? Being Absolutely. On, being on these boards. And yeah, no, no raise. I just, I just want to make sure. Can no I raise. Council <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to be moving all these in one motion? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just want to note, um, I do have an objection to Paul Szymanski on Park and Rec. just feel that he's, his business is too involved in too many things in town and perhaps Maybe there will be too many conflicts of interest. Thank you. Okay. Any discussion, Mr. Cosgrove? The only thing I want to uh, say is this is quite a list, and I think we're blessed as a town to have so many people Absolutely. that are willing to uh, sacrifice their time uh, to better the town. And so their treasures. And everyone. All the donations that many of these people make, such as Mr. Szymanski, <clears throat> who's donated hundreds of thousands of dollars in free work to this town <clears throat> for, for almost a decade. Yeah. Agreed. Yep. Right. Any other discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'd like to make a motion on item 5B. This will be the appointments of, the of all those that are listed under 5B, which would entail the Commission on the Arts, 
Ethics Commission, Youth Agency, Pension Committee, Parks and Recreation, Board of Finance and Zoning Board of Appeals, as each person is noted here on the agenda. And the, and the same dates, they would be temporary. Yes. So um, I also have a comment on the Board of Finance. Joe DiDegorio is apparently, as of this afternoon, is still in unaffiliated. He's not a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And you have him listed as a Dem. Uh, we'll change that to unaffiliated. You're just going to change it right now? What? Yeah. Sure. It's just a typo. Just a typo. All right. Well, um, also note my opposition to his name as we did submit, the Democrats did submit the name, the Democratic name. And, right. um, Thank you. Any other discussion on the motion? I'll, I'm going to speak in favor of Mr. DiGregorio. He's got a lot of experience on this. He's very level-headed and understands how money is earned and spent. Thank you. I Any other discussion? I would just uh, I served with uh, Joe on the Board of Finance, and I thought he did his homework. Did a good job. Yes. Oh, I fully support him. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Abstain. Thank you. Item and six, and town clerk's office. Well, we need to do the civil preparedness one. Oh my God, I did? Yes. There's so many There's here, let's see. Which item is that? Civil preparedness emergency management director, uh, Brian Ullman. But that's part of 5A. Yeah, but we didn't include this. Did you, didn't say it though? you didn't, you didn't oh, I'm read sorry. civil preparedness. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't read it. You're right. right. But the uh, what I did say is everybody listed on the agenda under 5A. So for the record, Please include civil preparedness and emergency management director who serves uh, co terminus. That date of start and end is a little different because that position serves co terminus with the mayor per section 609 of the charter. Is that okay to do it that way, Randy? It is. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, but thank you, Tom, for catching that. Now I'll go to item six, which is the town clerk's office reappointment. Mm -hmm. Of sub registers, registrars of vital registers of vital statistics. Bonnie Butcher Smith and Christopher Milano both to serve December 1st, 2019 through November 30, 2023. I assume they do not Second. fall under that other item. Right? This is all they okay. are fine, yeah. Randy? Yeah. Okay. With how we're doing it? Okay. Second. We have a first and a second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Item number seven. What? Did you have something there? We're good. Sorry. Okay. Item number seven, uh, move to approve the re request from the Zoning Board of Appeals for an additional $5,000 to be moved from legal other account number 10413900053101 and put into the ZBA legal fund account 104. 139005317 or any other source recommended by the finance director uh, to cover additional legal fees for an appeal. Second. Randy, can you sure. speak a little bit on that? We're under budget on all the legal accounts. So it doesn't really matter where you take it from. But the uh, director uh, informed me today, I wasn't informed of the need for a, for a transfer. I was asked how much is going to be necessary to complete the, the, uh, the litigation on that case, that particular case. All the all the discovery, all the uh, the, the record uh, return, and the pretrial hearings are done. So the only thing that's left to be done is a trial, and that's on uh, February. We're scheduled to do that February 20th. I anticipate that that this appropriation will be more than enough to cover that preparation and the trial. I was asked that by a, by a WEO furlough. So we have a first and a second. Do we have any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Item 8, Commission on the Arts. Just a point of clarification, D. Katie, real quick. Did you move to add the Sergeant Arms to 7? Yes, but there, there's a 7. There's no A on this, so, so we're we'll put you the... at the end. How about we move you move that item to number 12B? There you go. How's that? So we'll move Sergeant to the Arms to 12B. Yep. Uh, the Commission on the Arts uh, motion to accept their application for road closure of the Southern Crossover uh, that will be on December 16th for the annual Carol Sing. Is there anybody here from the Arts Commission? No, we all know that uh, Santa will come to town and we'll all be on the bandstand singing carols. That's my motion. Second. Okay. Second. Any discussion on the motion? 
All those in favor? Wait, uh, wait, wait. What? Mike? Just, just a <coughs> quick note. It would be nice if when people come and want to do something in town, that they're actually here for the meeting so that we can, you know, if we have questions or, I mean, it's just a very simple road closure. <coughs> and it would be nice to see people uh, come in front of the council so we know who you are. So Thank on you. Uh, number eight of our handout, uh, some of the things that we asked in previous councils was a letter on behalf of the commission. And then also we have the road closure application where everybody signed it, uh, traffic authority, uh, and I believe, uh, I believe it's the chief as well. So the one thing that I, I was get concerned about is the, um, the store operators on the, on the green and the time period that it gets closed for. So I, I, it is nice when they can come here and explain why, if they need to close it for more than a day or how many hours, that they come and explain why they need that just so we can see it. If we, if they don't need that whole time. They're just taking it to take it. It's nice to, to not close it because I know that the, the businesses do appreciate that. You know, being open. So it, it is something that if they're doing it, they should. What do you mean by take, they, they close it so they can get prepared? For Correct, but sometimes people close it for more time than they actually should need or will need just to be on the safe side, and that's not fair to them. For example, the they're talking side. four to nine, it's going to be closed here. Three. Yeah. Three a lot nine. of times it's for setup and for break. No, I know what it's for, but that's that's why I think what Mike's saying is they should also be here if sure, they sure. have questions. We'll ask them we'll 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 to come. For. But, you know, it, it, uh, it should be partially something that's part of the application that someone, rep their group representing, comes with before council just in case we do have questions. Sure. I'm fine with this one, and it's done every year, and it's fine. I'm just saying, going forward, it's something new. It, it, it could be something that we... Uh, do you think we should, in, should uh, try to uh, enforce something like that, that they have to come? I, I think it's a good idea. I'm not saying we say no because of it, but it's something that... Because that we did... As the mayor said, we did ask that in the past, but you know they're all volunteer organizations. I just don't know that they have people to come, but we certainly I think, could ask them. I, again, I think I you suppose. can encourage it. We do. Right. Yeah. Favorable requirement for the very reason you stated. Mm -hmm. Well, but. I'll say that to the Commission on the Arts next year. Please send someone. So I don't have to talk about your singing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fabulous event. We want everybody to attend, which is one of the other reasons why we've always encouraged folks to come here over the last decade to talk about their fabulous night. So that's I can't do it. It's not punitive. It's something to help more people come out. I would also just point out the letter uh, from the Commission on the Arts to the Traffic Authority says. We want it to be blocked from three till nine. Three to nine. The yeah, application so for road closure says four, four. to nine, right. so I just need to. They cut it down by an hour. Oh, okay, so four to nine is the official. Yep. yep. Thank okay. You. Okay. You got it. Uh, item number nine. Uh, you got a, you got a vote. You still got a vote. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you. No, I have an okay. Still, still talking. About. They were first and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Jesus, I wrote it too quickly. I just made an assumption. You know what that means. <laughs> Item number nine in Milford Police Department. Uh, we have a discussion and possible action concerning a police captain position. I think our chief, chief is here. See, he showed up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's his day off. Yeah. And he closed road whenever he wants. Yeah, good, evening, good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, Council. Importantly, good evening to our citizens. I'm very proud to be here tonight representing the men and women of the new Milford Police Department. Very happy to introduce uh, my two lieutenants, Lieutenant uh, Grabner, Lieutenant Wheeler. Um, very proud of the work they do, and uh, they're here tonight to show uh, that we are a team and we're in this together. I respectfully uh, request uh, tonight that we move transfer funds within the police department budget. I see a need within the police department. The lieutenants do an excellent job focusing on the detective bureau and the patrol bureau, respectively. But they've also been doing a heck of a job helping me with the administrative tasks that include grant writing, policy writing, training oversight and coordination, um, community policing and such. And I see a need. I see a need for a police captain to, to head the administrative division and head uh, oversee all these tasks. So I, as I said, I would request movement of funds within the police budget. 
I'm looking to move $15,000 from the evidence tech line and $18,000 from the sergeant salary line into the administrative salary line. This would help me to facilitate the hiring of a police captain. These funds are available due to a vacancy in the sergeant salary line that will not be filled in the savings for a late hire of a high risk navigator. The remaining funds are in the admin salary line from the accrual savings earlier in this fiscal year. We also, uh, just for the edification of the town council, have asked our finance director to speak with the chief concerning the ability within the department to do exactly what the chief says. And Greg? Yes, we've discussed it, and I agree. Okay. Chief, just a question. So I see yes. that how you're going to transfer some money and you have some savings. Okay. So let's move to next year. Yes. What do you think will happen then? Next year we're going to have a vacancy. There will be an unfilled uh, vacancy next year. And that vacancy will account for over $80,000. I will be coming uh, to the council for an additional approximately $15,000 to continually fund this police captain position. Okay. And one other thing, um, the original letter had that you were going to take it from high risk navigator line, but you mentioned the evidence tech, which is that which one is yeah, it? Yeah, that's just, <coughs> it's just a misnomer, but it's for the same position. No, I understand, but yeah. which is it? Because I have an account number here, and is the account number the same for right evidence? Right now in the budget, it reads evidence tech. <coughs> is that the account number that's on yes, here? Yes, that's okay. the correct account number. Not high risk navigator, okay. <coughs> Mike? You said that you know, you're going to have to come back next year to ask for another 15000 Yes, that's correct. Why don't, why don't you just redo your budget so it's accounted for and then we can approve or not approve the budget? Is that <coughs> right? That's, that's also a consideration. I mean, that seems like the best. And that seems logical. So just to make sure from a budget perspective, we're saying next year uh, to keep the position. Yes. Uh, we'll need to add 15K to the budget. Yes, it'll okay. be approximately that's that number. What, um, are there any specific metrics that you can, uh, that you'll be able to point to that when this person gets up and running, uh, yes, a service um, or something that they're to show? Right, one of the uh, big needs I see within the police department is policies and procedures. Uh, I have started the accreditation process. We'll be able to gauge our process or our progress with the accreditation standards. So that will be one matrix that I'll use. Um, in addition, I want to uh, have that position applying for grants. So I would like to see an increase in, in grants, obviously. Uh, community policing is another area that I want to measure improvement. We've done a heck of a job this year with community policing. We have that philosophy installed or instilled within our department, and I want to consider that. Uh, I want to add a citizen police academy. I want to start a police explorer program to benefit our youth in, in town. So I'll uh, measure the success of those uh, programs to this position. So I, and I don't know when is the right time, whether it's budget season or what have you, but um, going forward, understanding, you know, just to show the taxpayers, hey, we're putting out this extra funds, this is what... Correct. I'm sure in a number of months we would be able to show progress, but certainly right. within a year. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Walter? Well, it's, uh, I don't know, to me this is common sense. It's, it's not a want, it's a need. Do it. Hello. Mike? Uh, question for the chief. Yes. <clears throat> for the grants, what kind of grants are you are applying for and why wouldn't we just turn to the town grant writer for that kind of help? Yes, of course. Uh, the town grant writer is a resource that we have utilized and we plan to continue to utilize. Uh, we obviously have to let uh, her know and uh, allow her to understand our focus. I have found that traffic enforcement and traffic related issues are a big uh, concern in town and they're certainly one of my high priorities so I would like to focus more so on those types of grants where allow our officers to um, conduct enforcement conduct education in the community on traffic related issues 
We had a good start this year. We got involved with the DOT grant process. We had two grants. Uh, one grant allowed us to enforce traffic uh, related uh, issues. Another allowed us to get out into the public and do more community policing. So those two areas I'd like to double down on and focus more on with the grants. Thank you. Again, I support your request. Uh, I'm not about to second guess uh, in the police department. That's your expertise. So uh, thanks for coming forward with it. Thank you, sir. And hey, Randy, I just want to make sure um, that this uh, happens to dovetail into the police captain position. I just want to make sure verbiage wise we're still on task for our agenda. But as the finance director will talk a little bit later in his finance update, when you do look at the sheet, you will see some overruns in the dispatch overtime that we've been talking about for months. And I just want everybody to be clear, we are cognizant, the chief is cognizant of that, and we are working on that by what we've hired, as we talked about before, the per diem contracted employee mm -hmm. that can help mitigate those costs. So we'll be able, am I correct, Chief, within your budget to be able to handle all of this within the budget as it is today? Yes, that's the plan. And in addition, the uh, two lines I uh, speak of, this uh, police sergeant line and also a police officer line due to a deployment in the military will be unfilled through the rest of the uh, budget year. And also you're getting some funding back, um, correct, from the federal government and yes. from the state? Yes. It's uh, actually going to be helpful uh, as well? We just received our first payment from the state. It was a $2,500 uh, stipend. We're going to receive that $2,500 stipend on a monthly basis, and that's going to go right into our overtime line. Great. Nice. And the stipend, so everyone is aware, town council is for? It's for our involvement in the statewide narcotics task force. So, hey, so, so I'd like to. Oh, just a quick question uh, to pick back on what Katie said. So it says a high risk navigator line. Thank you. Is it going to be changed? Yeah. The, change yes. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm it comes in front of us, it's going to read that instead of Evan. I'm going to make the motion and correct that typo. Okay, great. Yeah, I just want to thank the chief and all the officers. Uh, I know you guys were out there in the cold on Saturday. You did a great job in front of Coles collecting thank you. that stuff. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's the, it's the team's job. effort that makes all those things happen. And the police presence in the, in the last, uh, since you've come in, especially, uh, it's been great. I've heard nothing but good things about you and your officers. So thank you. Thank I you appreciate it. We appreciate it. Thank Tom? You. I'm going to dovetail onto, onto Doug. It's been amazing to hear, to meet your officers on the street, see the morale is 180 degrees the way, away from where it was. Um, people are engaged. My constituents and my friends and family members love the presence. They love the interaction, it, the, the friendliness, the, 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 the team spirit has been fantastic. And I, I, I appreciate it. I'm so, so proud team. of my team. I'm proud to hear compliments like that. I hear them every day and I pass those compliments on. Um, we're all in it together and we're a team. Us, the police We can tell you over here, community. we're incredibly proud. Thank incredibly you very proud. much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, excellent. So, I'd like to make a motion to approve the request from the uh, police department to transfer $15,000 from the Evidence Tech account, line 104-201-00-51011. Transfer to Administrative Salary Line 104-201-00-51000. Second. Well, there's a second request. Me. Also to uh, <coughs> transfer $18,000 from the sergeant's line, 104-20100-51004, to the administrative salaries line, 104-201-00-51000. Second, second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Chief. Uh, item 10. Left motion. Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> motion to accept the uh, donation of approximately 25 acres of property at 8 Kent Road, tax map 28.4, lot 8, known as Native Meadows. And this donation comes from the Northwest Conservation District, Incorporated. To the town of New Milford, it's to be used for passive recreation with deed restrictions to that effect. And this Second. Is for, this is for setting up the town meeting, correct, Randy? Uh, you'll recall that I prepared the restrictions and 
and uh, provided it to the to the to the council. The restrictions have been approved by the attorney for uh, for the Northwest District. So the the last call that I got was last was Wednesday before Thanksgiving, uh, when they said to please go ahead and prepare the deed to send to the executive director, and they will execute the, the, do what it needs to be done. But I said I can't do that until we have right. a town so meeting. So my motion is to set the town meeting date. Correct. Yeah, it'd be the uh, the board of finance. I mean, I'm sorry. Correction. The uh, planning commission has already approved the 824 referral. Right, and that would be less, than, no less than one, no less than, uh, no greater than two. Right. First meeting in January. So is it the first meeting in January, Randy? Would that be your yeah. opinion? Yeah. Okay. So we could add that to the motion. To town meeting to be held on the first town council meeting in January of 2020, which would be. January the 13th. 13th. So just to be clear, I think we've talked about this before. Uh, accepting this property, uh, maintenance does not fall on park and rec. Um, it, it's not going to hinder their budget at all or create more work for them. Is that right? Correct. Okay. So we have a summer program with the Northwest Investment Board. And the students or the kids that get paid get a lot of work uh, on trails this year, uh, we Antonogs and the towns, and they would be tasked with doing those particular uh, paths uh, within Native Meadows. And as we talked about uh, prior, what is great about that is the town then gets this concurrent piece that we can attach the one and a half mile trail that would be in there onto the bridge, going across the bridge, connecting to the river trail that is as today. Then that river trail, part of it could then go from DPW, because we've already got the funding uh, in place from last year's budget to create the sidewalk. It will go up uh, Patriot's Way all the way into the downtown. So now we'll have the ability to have the connectivity that everybody wants with the river and with the downtown. And people then can walk into the downtown with that one and a half mile loop Add in the one, the one and a half miles that would be in Native Meadows plus the river walk that currently is now. And I believe in the beginning, our walk even there will be bigger than Brookfield's. That's great. Ooh. So we'll that's be, a big and wall. we can, can continue on, absolutely, that's, that's a big that's with our connectivity. So I think it's a great win for the town. Absolutely. It certainly and is. And if there was no second to that, I'll second to that. Is that at 645 on January 13th? Yes, 645. Thank you. Those properties still yeah. will be turned over to the Park and Rec for their review in case somebody wanted to do an event or something like that. Right? Nope. No event. It is they strictly, won't have any jurisdiction. It on. is a deed restriction to the effect that it is for passive recreation only. Okay. That means you can walk on it and you can't party on it. Okay. <laughs> so keep no that fire. in mind. <laughs> I understand there are some projects that the Boy Scouts like to do and maybe they need to own those properties. So that would say under the They can do what they've done before. They can contact sure. the mayor's office yeah. and we'll awesome. set them up. Good. As long as they don't party, you know. No party. Mike? <laughs> okay. Any other discussion? I just, I just want to say okay. it's a great acquisition for the town, great cool. for the residents. I'm very happy to see it's moving through. Absolutely. It's even better than we have to pay for that. <laughs> Thank you. Any Absolutely. other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Um, may I insert our uh, additional agenda item prior to the finance director, Mayor? Absolutely. Would that be all right? That's okay, okay with the council? Okay. Yes. Um, it was unfortunately left off the agenda, but it was to uh, nominate a sergeant at arms for our council. Would someone like to make a motion to nominate someone? I'd like to make a motion to nominate Doug Skelly, second sergeant at arms. Second and terms. Mr. Skelly was the sergeant of arms the last council. Did a great job. So any other discussion on the appointment? No, I second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Skelly. Thank you, Judge. Thank you. Okay. Now we got it done. So now we move from item 10B to 11, which is an update from Greg Ossipow, finance director. Do you have a uniform, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a red suit. A borrow from you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is a report as of October 31st. Revenues are at 50.4% of budget. On a straight line basis, we would expect to be at 33.3%. Tax collections are at 55.3% of budget overall, 
with current taxes at 56.1%. It appears that both interest income and stiff interest are, despite my earlier concerns, running above budget at 42.3% and 48.5% respectively. I will continue to monitor these accounts. Land use revenues are at a robust 68.4% of budget. Building permits are also running well ahead of budget at 74.5% of budget. There are no areas of concern at this point in time with revenues. Expenditures. Expenditures are at 39.1% of budget with encumbrances. Without encumbrances, they are at 32.6% of budget, which is right on target on a straight line basis. The police department is at 34.8% of budget with encumbrances and 34% without. Overtime and dispatchers over time are at 48.7% and 81.7% of budget respectively. This leaves no doubt that dispatchers over time will certainly go over budget as I had predicted in December. An adjustment of some sort will have to occur in this account. I've spoken with the chief who has informed me that one training candidate began last evening and another full and one part-time dispatcher will finish training in approximately six weeks. This will slow the rate of overtime but not eliminate it. Recycling overtime is at 63.6% .6 of budget. This is offset by salary savings, which currently is running at 26.8% of budget. That is approximately 6% under budget. In summary, on a cash basis, revenues are at $51,143,899.04, and expenditures are at $31,000,000. $342,703.88, leaving the town with a positive cash flow of $19,801,195.16. Any questions for Greg? Chris? Yeah, I've got a few right quick. Um, so I've got a few questions, Greg. So a lot of uh, the areas in both revenue and expenditures where we're ahead of the 30 odd percent is uh, generally is it a timing issue where uh, things hit at different times of the year and where you yeah you'll see uh, in some categories in revenue where there's zero percent collected and uh, most of those are like state revenues and they come in different times of the year. So specifically on the revenue side, land use, building permits mm -hmm. uh, are way ahead. Do you expect us to uh, go um, get more? That was a surprise to me, frankly. I know um, building sure. permits, there was a big uh, uh, project. Man, so, do you want to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, so here's the great news. So if you're using year to date, year over year, mm -hmm. last year uh, we were in the construction of about $9 million. As of this year, we're $31 million. Okay. So that's new projects, projects coming to fruition. Yeah, so town's news. growing. Yep. This Absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, you know, I'm not saying it, I'm not questioning it. I just want right. to understand where we might be at the end of the year. And, and, and that, uh, the sanitary permits is also way up. So I, I assume that's all um, connected. On the expenditure side, one thing I noticed with the probate court, um, uh, they're at about 50% of expense budget. But we haven't seen any revenue yet. Is that an issue with it? Is that no, a cash we're going to build them for the run. We'll get it we all do it in one shot. Okay. Um, and for expenditures, I see fire department and dog pound are 50, 60. Right. They normally, yeah, they normally That's ask for half and half. So. Okay, gotcha. Uh, ambulance timing. is the same, and commission on the arts is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, just timing. Yes. Okay. That's it. Thank you. And then. Uh, uh, Councilman Lawson had asked me for some figures today, so I'd like to give those oh. figures to you. 
Um, so he asked for material and supplies, how we are currently. So our budgeted number for this year is $536,000. So year to date, we've expended $3,200. We've encumbered $272,475. Leaves an opening of two sixty three twenty five. dollars So I think so far we're in pretty good shape. And then as far as the gas itself, um, we talked about before, so our budgeted number is 407405 We've expended 115635 so that's at 28.4% so far for the year. So we're about six months in already, so we're looking pretty good so far still. Okay, thank you. Uh, so it's just the weather. Absolutely. I mean, I'm with you. you know, how many supposed events to, are you going to have? Three, supposed to get more, three, we're you know. supposed to get more storm uh, event, more than likely Tuesday night into Wednesday. No. <laughs> um, I hope I would I don't know if we can take another day home with so, it. You're not so second Dave, that motion. Dave, yeah. should it happen? I know you know it's not going to, but should it happen? The resolution. Would you just pop over and shovel my box for me? Will you take the kids? That, that number is seasonal as well because built into that gas budget is also heating fuel. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. So exactly. that's, you're going to see seasonal, right. seasonal fluctuations mm -hmm. in that account. Absolutely. One other thing. So, the other thing I looked at on the IT budget, I know we've had a lot of issues mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you, in terms of capital or expenses in the IT group, do you think well, the budget that, is safe I there? I guess that's going to be addressed in executive session. Yep. Okay. Any other discussion for Greg? Nope. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Greg. Okay, uh, motion to move to executive session. What, the economic development, development. are we going to oh, table I'm that? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were going to table that. Okay. Could someone table that? Uh, I'd like to make a motion Karen to table the here this evening. development update Second. until the, the uh, January. development director is available in okay. January. Right. Second. There are too many questions we'd really yep. like yep. to have her here to Absolutely. talk about it. Thank Any you. other discussion on tabling? Um, well, I do appreciate the uh, uh, report that was sent to us earlier. I do appreciate that. Wonderful. Excellent. I'll make sure it gets updated. Well, the uh, our economic development director is to report to us once a month. Correct. The second meeting of each month. Correct. So there should definitely be some update between the beginning of December and the end of January. Yes. Right. Randy? Your Honor, uh, may the, with your indulgence, may the Chief, Chief Sirota be invited into executive session. I know he's, he's on there. there. Oh, he is on there. Yep. Okay, thank you. Revive. Any other discussion on, on table? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session. There we go. Second. Move a second. And like to call in Attorney Devella, IT Director David Watson, Personnel Director Greg Valero, and Finance Director Greg And Osipow, the Chief. And Chief of Police. And for those Spencer of you who do not return, have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Christmas. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy Thank you. Okay, uh, motion to return to regular session. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. No votes were taken, no uh, motions. motions were made. Uh, motion to add item 14 to our agenda. Second. And the, and the item is? And the item will be a transfer of funds to IT. Second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. I'd like to make a motion to transfer $110,000 to the IT materials and supplies line from a source to be determined by our finance director, Greg Ospa. Second. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Motion to adjourn, Mr. Mayor. Second. Any discussion? All was Wait, I have some discussion. I have to say, happy holidays. Yes. Oh, happy holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. No. Merry Christmas. No. Happy Hanukkah. Oh, yeah. oh, and happy oh, Hanukkah. Oh, oh. There you go. There you go. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you.